back students. Today is saxophone scales part three. All right, in my previous videos, I worked on three scales and three scales to prepare for the upcoming All South Jersey Band auditions. Today, I'm gonna to work on our final three alto Barry sax scales. We're gonna be starting on a B flat, E flat, and A flat, but I'll be putting their concert pitches up here. Okay, in case you wanna play along, some of these scales, uh, you may not need to play on your instrument, but these are what the scales are. So a saxophone B flat is the concert D flat scale. Okay, so in case you wanted to play along, we're gonna start on this B flat scale for the saxophone. As you know, the B flat scale only has B flat and E flat, and on the saxophone, I teach B flat as the A with this side key, just a reminder. Okay, so make sure you're using that key. The fourth note is the E flat, okay? And we're not gonna start on the low. We'll start on the middle B flat, as you can see here on the bottom of the screen. We'll set our metronome up to 80, okay? And we'll take out our subdivision from my previous video. Here we go. One, two, four times. saxophone players do not enjoy playing flats okay I guess because I'm also a brass player and I played a lot of instruments I'm just used to playing all these but um, today we're working with mainly flat scales so we're looking at the E flat scale now this would be for the saxophone um, I'm thinking it's a concert G flat scale so yes ooh thanks all right so if you're a flute, you would be playing a G flat scale, which you probably don't want to play, but um, you could play along if that's the case, okay? And for a trumpet, you would be an A flat scale. Okay, that would be your concert G flat, which trumpet, that is one of the scales you will need for the audition, okay? But for the saxophone scale, the E flat scale, I'm gonna put down below here, we have our E flat, A flat, and B flat. And for those of you who don't know A flat, it's just like the G sharp, we play the G with this upper pinky with the left pinky, okay? All right, so we'll play this E flat scale. I'm gonna start on the low E flat. All right, here's our concert G flat, saxophone E flat scale. One, two, ready, begin. Again. To the con we're, like, we're gonna move on to the A flat scale, the last of the nine scales to learn on the saxophone, alto, or barry saxophone for the audition. This scale um, for saxophone would be a concert C flat scale. Yikes. So let's pull that up, concert C flat. And for flutes, that's a B scale, okay? Um, for trumpets and clarinets, that would be a D flat scale. So I'm not sure how useful this chart is for this, but I'm still putting up here in case you're playing along at home and you're not an alto or a Barry sax, okay? And for this scale, as you can see down below, we have four flats, the A flat, the B flat, the D flat, and the E flat. For D flat, we haven't encountered yet. That's no fingers, just like the C sharp you're used to, okay? But we're starting on that A flat. And we're going up to the high A flat. All right, here we go. Ready? Setting the metronome. One, two, ready. Again. 
again. Again. Fourth time. Okay, so good job getting through all three of those scales, okay? If you were able to play them all and you feel like you're successful at all nine of the scales, I'm gonna be putting out a video with these three scales and the other six scales and all it will be is just me playing through the scales four times each, so four times nine, that's 36 scales up and down. Um, just for you to practice going through the scales. And obviously, if you're working with your teacher at school or your private teacher, you're probably adding some octaves to these scales. This is just a good warm up, just to kind of get you, get you to learn that muscle memory for the scales for the audition, okay? And if you are auditioning, good luck. If you're just practicing at home, hopefully you're having a great time practicing. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully you'll enjoy some of my other videos.